Hello ladies, gentlemen, and anything non or in between. Welcome back to another devlog of Project Eden's Garden. I'm Taco Omari, or Finn, the director of the Eden's Garden team, and we would like to give our August 2022 report, this time in video form. It's been a while since the last update, hasn't it? Well, we've made plenty of good progress these past few months. Just like our latest development report, I'll be separating this into our respective departments. However, a quick note before we start, this will very likely be our last devlog slash update before the prologue's release. If you have any questions about development, please direct it to our Discord server as it is always open for that. To begin, I would like to give you a brief insight into our 2D and 3D art, followed by our progress for music and sound effects. We'll finish up with an updated view of our production and release of the game. Regarding 2D art, we have reached our goal of completing every sprite needed for the prologue. This brings us to a total of 340 sprites across the current character database. Our UI assets are also reaching to a close at 80%. This is a huge breakthrough for development, considering it will significantly cut the amount of time needed in this department for future chapters. Wrapping up two major cornerstones of the project means more time and energy is dedicated to other parts of the game. The biggest challenge here would be our CGs, as they are reliant on the 3D modeling site for background art. Fortunately, we have implemented a way to get rid of this dependency. Because all of our models are completed, 2D artists can draw the characters first in a set angle without completing the background first. For the 3D department, we are seeing significant progress for texturing. Every model in the prologue has been modeled and unwrapped. In other words, the 3D team is now extremely focused on finishing up textures on whatever models we have left. Being around 3 quarters way through, we estimate that every 3D asset will be finalized by October. This is really exciting for the team, as 3D assets are by far the most difficult and time-consuming to produce. When textures are completed, so will each section of the game, visually. I will briefly go over the programming department. Unfortunately, we are limited to what we can review for the devlogs as it may spoil certain parts of the prologue. Overall, 68% of the game is completed. Many of the back-end systems have been implemented and play tests are currently being carried out in the team. We are currently reviewing and fixing up both visual and mechanical bugs. Lighting and implementation of models are also being worked on at this current moment. And that wraps up the current progress of Eden's Garden. Next up, we'll have Hayden to discuss the soundtrack matters. Hey guys, my name's Hayden, I am one of the composers on the team, and today I'd like to talk about some of the changes that we'll be making to the soundtrack. So some of you guys may have noticed that a couple of the tracks, particularly the older ones, um, are marked as unused audio. This means they will not appear in the final game, but they will remain on the YouTube channel since people have come to enjoy those tracks. We're choosing not to use these tracks for two big reasons. The first reason is that stylistically they just don't exactly fit what we're going for anymore. They're almost there, but it's sort of more Danganronpa-esque than we're doing, so it just it wouldn't gel well with our style entirely. And the second issue is that they are uncredited tracks, we don't know who made them, it was not myself or Robbie, so those are the reasons why we just won't be using these tracks. That being said, we will be reworking some of them. So for example, Hope Deliverance, I will be making two different versions of this in our style. One of them as like a general non-stop debate theme, and the other as sort of a late game non-stop debate theme. This way we can kind of keep some of these tracks in some capacity, since a lot of people have come to really enjoy them, without sacrificing any sort of stylistic integrity. So we actually have a snippet of the late game version of Hope Deliverance that we will be using in the final game. A couple things to keep in mind. While this is a non-stop debate track, it is a late game track, therefore it is very dramatic, and it kind of has this cinematic feel. So if it seems a little strange, don't worry, this will be reserved for really important moments. We usually wouldn't show a late game track off like this, so early, it's just I wanted to give you guys an example of what we're doing, and this is the only one I have so far. It's also worth keeping in mind that this is a very early version of this track, and things will change, things will get more developed, the mixing might change, but we just wanted to show you guys something to give you an idea of what these new tracks might sound like. Uh, I hope you enjoy the snippet, and I hope you keep an open mind to the changes.
Hey all, Robbie Good, aka Robbo Writes here, the other co-composer in charge of the music for Project Eden's Garden. I wanted to take some time and talk about the tone and the overall sound of the soundtrack for Project Eden's Garden and really sort of get to understand what Hayden and I are aiming for with the music for this project, as well as some of the more exciting prospects that have to do with it moving forward. So for those of you who have been following the soundtracks for the game that have been released so far, you'll notice that there's a very heavy mix of electronics and orchestral sound. This is to really help the soundtrack have a lot of variety in that it can be very surrealist and tense, but also have a very distinct human connection to familiar sound. Sound. And I'm going to cut right to the chase. Project Eden's Garden soundtrack will be using live musicians for a lot of its tracks to really get that real genuine orchestral sound. That's huge for an independently developed game, but it's going to go a really long way in upping the overall sound quality and the authenticity to the music. And let's just be honest, it's, it's, it's really cool, I think, at least. To give an example of this, I'd like to show a segment of the game's main theme, which has been unreleased officially, but actually has been performed by a live orchestra as a uh, part of <laughs> my own university graduation recital. So I'm gonna go ahead and play these themes back to back. So first, here is the instrumental demo made up of synthesized instruments to imitate a real orchestra. All right, and now here is the same segment of the main theme performed by live musicians. Now we're not going to release the synthesized instrumental demo of the main theme as it is right now, but for those of you who are interested in hearing the rest of the main theme performed by the live orchestra from that concert, the link to that video will be in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out. Now I want to be clear that this performance of the piece is not going to end up being the final version that we use in the game. Now the, the music will be the same, but the actual mix and the performance and everything, it'll, it'll all be produced a little bit more professionally. But the, the point here is to illustrate the uh, dichotomy between the synthesized instruments and the real thing. And so I, I hope this gets you guys a little excited for what's to come with the soundtrack and what we're going to end up doing. And, and I can't wait to share more with you as we move on. So we'll throw it back to the development team for more information. Hey friends, Juvie here to give you an update on the production plan for Eden's Garden. First and foremost, I just want to thank the entire Eden's Garden team, ranging from programmers to artists to writers to voice actors and everybody in between, for all the amazing work they've been putting into this project over the last several months. The team has been incredibly hard at work really tying up the, the prologue release of Eden's Garden so we can get it out to the community as soon as possible. And with that being said, I have an exciting announcement today. I'm really pleased and honored to tell you all that we are targeting the first half of December as the release window for the prologue of Eden's Garden. This will be the first installment of, of the game, and you'll be able to play through the first uh, several hours of content. 
uh, getting to know the characters and, and all of that good stuff. I won't spoil anything, of course, but again, we are targeting the first half of December for the release of Eden's Gardens Prologue. Now, you, you probably noticed that I'm not specifying a date, and the reason for that is we want to make sure that we can remain a little bit flexible on timing. There's still some things that we're sorting out internally, but be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you want to, join our Discord, because that's going to be the best way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest from Eden's Gardens. Garden. Finally, I wanted to discuss a little bit of the future releases for Eden's Garden. As we've mentioned in the past, we plan on doing an episodic release for Eden's Garden to get the content to you, the community, sooner rather than later. But rather than, you know, shipping in, uh, you know, all of the chapters all at once and going heads down for you know, probably a couple years to, to develop the whole thing, we're going to release it episodic. Uh, and obviously, it's, it's taken us quite a bit of time to get the prologue out. And I wanted to highlight a little bit why and, and peel the curtain back on game development just ever so slightly, mostly to reassure the community that we're, we're essentially going to be able to expedite future releases in many ways. And the reason for that being is the prologue is not only a massive undertaking in the sheer amount of content, but it's also us laying the foundation that we can build upon in the future. Our core tech, all of the character sprites, these are all things that are reusable and allow us to work quicker when working on future releases. And so again, when, when it comes to Chapter 1's release window, we don't, have, we don't have something to share today, and that'll be something that we more than likely share with you in a future devlog. But with everything that we've learned from the prologue and the strong foundation the team has built, both in our code base, our, our art repository, etc., we'll be able to develop at a, a much faster clip, so to speak. And we're really, really excited to, to give you that kind of drip of content over time. If you have any questions at all, feel free to uh, leave them in the YouTube comment section. I will try my best to at least reply to some. So that's been Juvie. I hope you've enjoyed the production update, and I can't wait for you all to play what the team has been working on. Thanks. <laughs> oh, tell me, Mara. What do you think drives people these days? Is it the money, their pride, or is it their so-called talents? Come as it may, they all seem to have potential. Don't you think? Regardless of this outcome, there are many roads ahead. After all, this is only just the beginning. My dear subordinates, 
please do not disappoint me.